Welcome to day 7 at COP27. It's Saturday, so we've reached the end of the first week at COP. Today's theme is adaptation, and I spoke to Climate Strategies member Richard Klein on his work on adaptation and how he's finding COP this year. Hi, I'm Richard Klein. I'm with the Stockholm Environment Institute and I lead the team on international climate risk and adaptation. I think what's unique about COP27 is that it's taking place at a time of increasing geopolitical tension and social and economic crisis. So heads of state who are here at the beginning of the week um, are saying all the right things, but we'll need to see in the rest of COP27 whether the negotiated output of this COP uh, actually reflects the urgency. Yeah, I'm here mostly to follow uh, the adaptation uh, negotiation items uh, and also to uh, play a role in the uh, technical dialogues of the global stock take when it comes to adaptation. And I've been following adaptation basically from the, from the beginning and it, it really wasn't a very important part of negotiations at all. And, and now it is, um, primarily because you know, adaptation is needed, it's important, it's urgent, uh, but also because the Paris Agreement uh, includes a global goal on adaptation. And, and I'm particularly interested in um, uh, making sure that adaptation is seen as uh, the global challenge that the Paris Agreement says it is. Um, yeah, there are two events that I think are particularly interesting at this COP. Uh, one we just had this morning, which was about adaptation without borders, trying to make the case that one climate risk in one location could have cascading and cross-border effects to very different locations. You know, for example, a drought in Asia can lead to food insecurity in West Africa because of um, the mechanisms through which global trade works, for example. Um, another event um, next week is going to be in the Ukraine Pavilion. And I've been invited to talk about how uh, international climate policy can help in the reconstruction of Ukraine once they've won the war. 